Constantinople. 1185. Andronikos I Komnenos, the last Byzantine emperor of the Komnenoi royal family, is deposed and slaughtered. Before his death, the mob of citizens would gouge out one of his eyes, cut off his hand, and pour boiling water onto his face. In the dead of night, two of his grandsons, Alexios and David, were skirted out of the city, and sent east, to their aunt, Queen Tamar of Georgia. In 1204, the wayward Fourth Crusade would see European crusaders sack Constantinople, severely weakening the Eastern Empire, while establishing the Latin Empire. With forces from Georgia, Alexios and David, now adults, would march back west, and capture the important port city of Trebizond, south of the Black Sea. Alexios would then crown himself emperor of this continuation to the Byzantine Empire, calling himself Megas Komnenos, meaning great, or grand. After the sack of Constantinople, the Empire of Trebizond, would become one of three Greek states that would claim to be the legitimate successors to the Greek tradition. The despotate of Epirus was in the west, in Greek territory, and the Empire of Nicaea, the most powerful of the three states resided in West Anatolia. Also of note, the Sultanate of Rum, derived from the Arabic name for Rome, was a breakaway from the Seljuk Turk Empire, and occupied the majority of Anatolia. Attempting to retake their former home, Alexio sent his brother David westwards. He would succeed in taking territory, like Sinope, another important city, but the stronger empire of Nicaea and Sultanate of Rum would retake the territory, effectively cutting off Trebizond from Constantinople. The mid-1200s, would be a mixed bag for Trebizond. Under Manuel I, son of Alexios, they would retake Sinope in 1254, but lose it again soon after. The Mongol invasions would weaken their allies in Georgia, but more importantly dissolve the Sultanate of Rum to the south. Trebizond would become a vassal to the Mongols, who now claimed much of the land in Central Asia. Controlling the Silk Road, they shifted the western terminus of the famous trading route to Trebizond. This brought untold wealth and prestige to the Greek successor state, and made it worthy of protection. Eventually, Nicaea would drive out the Latins in 1261, and retake the Byzantine capital themselves. This put Trebizond in a precarious position, as they couldn't name themselves emperor anymore, as a legitimate emperor was back on the throne. Manuel's son, Emperor John II, would renounce his claims to the Byzantine throne with the Treaty of 1282. The 1300s would see Trebizond expand southward, under Alexios II, to occupy Erzurum. He would also tame the encroaching Italian traders from Genoa and Venice. His 33-year reign would be a stark contrast to what was to come, following his death in 1330. While Emperor Basil's reign would be fraught with controversy, that quickly escalated in 1340, with his murder, possibly at the hands of his wife, Irene Paleologina. Soon after, Anna Anna Choutlou, the daughter of Alexios II, the last emperor before the turmoil, left her nunnery to oppose Irene. This period would be marked by bloody civil war, involving the Scholaroi, who were part of the nobility and pro-Byzantine, and the Amitsenterioi, who supported the local Laz population, and backed Anna in an overthrow of Empress Irene. Neither would last long in power, and the Scholaroi would replace Anna with John III, who was then replaced by Michael I. This civil war wasn't without consequences. The Turks took advantage, claiming border territories and laying siege to Trebizond, while Genoa took Caracas. The Black Death was also devastating to the empire, and under pressure, Michael abdicated the throne to his nephew Alexios III. As was common with the Alexios, his reign was stable, and seen as a high point in the empire's life. Their diplomacy would be second to none, taking advantage of both Genoa and Venice. The empire would also keep close ties to the Byzantine Empire and the White Sheep Turkic Tribal Confederacy. The princesses of Trebizond were reportedly quite attractive and with large dowries, so they would be married off, to form strategic alliances. 
after Alexios' reign, his son, Manuel III, would even enter an alliance with the Turkic Mongol conqueror Tamerlane, who ended Ottoman encroachment in 1402, at the Battle of Ankara. Nomadic kingdoms tend not to last long, and the Ottomans would reconquer the territory by the 1430s. After the Ottomans took Constantinople in 1453, Trebizond was besieged in 1456, and made to pay tribute. It was only after Sultan Mehmed II, heard of the new emperor, David, planning a crusade with Western European powers, that the Sultan would completely take over Trebizond in 1461, making David the last ruler of this small empire. Of the three Greek successor states, the despotate of Epirus was reclaimed by the Byzantine Empire in 1337, and the Empire of Nicaea had retaken Constantinople in 1261, and fell to the Ottomans in 1453. Though it was small, the Empire of Trebizond, outlived all others, by fending off, or forging strategic alliances with different Turkic nomads, the restored Byzantine rulers, and even the Mongols. And this made the Trebizond Empire, the last remaining vestige, of the Byzantine Empire.